In this video, I'm going to show you how to convert our image that we already converted in Adobe Capture to an SVG, um, and it's of handwriting. This is a really cool technique. So I'm going to go to File, Open, and I already downloaded my image from my email, so I'm just going to open it up here. You can just select OK, and it's going to open it up for us. We're going to maximize it. And I'm going to use the plus and minus keys on my computer to zoom in and out. So if you're wondering, that's what I'm doing. I'm going to move it to the left a little bit. I'm going to go to path and I'm going to trace bitmap. I select colors. Um, that's just what I'm used to. So that's what I like to do. I'm going to unselect smooth and select remove background. Since this is a pretty simple image, I can do four scans. Our scans is usually the number of colors in your image. Um, sometimes I like to do six if it's more shadowing, but because it's handwriting, four should be good enough for us. And then we're going to click update to show us and push OK. If your image doesn't come up when you push update, you probably didn't select that. I do it quite a few times. Um, so now you can see the OK went back so we can get out of this menu here. And I'm going to pull this to the side. This is our image. So I'm going to delete the original. You can keep it if you want for reference. Usually I pull it up on my phone or my tablet. It doesn't matter. We're going to select our one we traced already and go to object ungroup. If you remember, we did uh, several scans. So they're all stacked on top of each other. And I'm going to pull this apart. Now because they are, some of them are lighter. I like to just select this little paint down here while, I'm, while the item is selected. I choose that and it makes it darker to see, um, just more definition. So these all look pretty much the same. So I'm just going to keep the one over here on the left. Now I'm going to zoom in. And this will be really, handwriting is usually very easy to clean up as long as the background was clean. So what I'm going to do is select my little node tool over here, and I'm just going to drag it around these and delete it, these little ones here. And this is really just all you need to do to clean it up. The nodes are showing you all of these little pieces that would cut out if you just saved this and uploaded it to Design Space. Um, now, as I can see over here, the period is really close to that line, so I'm going to zoom in really close to see if they're touching, which they are. So what I'm going to do, because this is a straight line, is I'm going to go over here to my uh, square tool. I'm going to change the color, because if you look up here, it will show us that was black. Um, I want this black, but I'm going to do this so we can see the difference. And I have to change my settings. I keep forgetting to do that. And I'm going to, um, the black doesn't matter in this case. I'm going to just adjust this over that. And while this is still selected, I'm going to select my image here on the left. And I'm going to go to Path Difference. And that's going to get rid of that square on the side. Now we can go back to our Node tool. See, I can see down here. Um, the node tool is a great tool because it really shows you every little line that is hard to see on your computer. Now what I'm going to show you here is kind of a neat trick. I'm going to zoom in really tight and I'm going to get rid of all of these little dots here. And then you can see over here there's a little dot here and there's a little dot over here. So we can get rid of all of that. Now we can see that this is kind of a jagged edge. So if we want it to clean it up, we can select these and delete them. And then this little thing comes out and we can kind of bend it around to shape it like the letter should look. So it's up to you if it's a sentimental thing, you you know, and you want to leave it exactly as it is, you can if you um want to clean it up. I know I had an image that I was doing of a person who was bald and the lighting made it look like he didn't have the shape of his head. So by doing 
this, I was able to kind of stretch out a line around his head. So you can also do this, where we're going to select these two nodes, and we're going to just use the arrow keys on our keyboard to kind of pull it out and stretch it around. And um, we can pull it up here. Now once it's here, I can use the shift key on my keyboard and select, um, if you saw, um, my no tool. See how it shows you these red, it's hard to click on, right there, these red pieces. That would cut out because these aren't connected. So by selecting it with my node tool, I can select these and I'm going to go to path union. So that's going to union that line. So now you see that little cut isn't there anymore. So I can zoom in and now I can get rid of this but it's going to cut all around here and not on the inside because I did union with those nodes. So this kind of, I can even go into with my node tool and I can just pull right here and kind of shape it. It's really neat, um, but it's up to you on if you want to keep the sentimentality of your image or if you like those imperfections or if you want to clean it up a little more. And as always, we have to make sure that it, our image fits into this. I'm going to just highlight this little arrow and shrink it down a little more. Then you go over to File, Save As. You can name it whatever you'd like and just make sure it's a plain SVG and you're done.